Hello friends, this video on triangles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's find some congruent triangle. Okay. So congruent triangles which is congruent to figure 1. This is figure 1. Congruent to figure 1. That is the question. So we have to find the congruent triangle that is congruent to figure 1. This is the figure 1. So we have to find a triangle where sides are of this form 4.5, 5 and 4 in this order. If you pick, let's assume this is 1, this is 2 and this. Okay. So starting with 4.5, then 5, then 4. Or if you are confused, let's take this 4, 4.5 and 5. Everything is increasing, right? 4, 4.5 and 5. So if we can find a series something like this, that means the triangle is congruent. I'll, I'll try with all the series. Okay, in this one, this is one series, one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is 4.5 and 4. Other way of looking at it is 5, 4 and 4.5. And you can look in the anti-clockwise direction also. But for our understanding, we will always take from this. But so I have taken 4, 4.5 and 5. So let's see. If there is a sequence in, and I am always moving in the anti clockwise direction. Let's start. This is 4, 4.5, 5. Right? So we start from here in the anti clockwise direction. We are getting 4, 4.5, and 5. That means this is congruent. Let's use start with 4, 4, and go in the anti clockwise direction. 4, 4.5, 5, 5. That means this triangle is also congruent. Let's start from here. 4 in the anti clockwise direction. 4, 4.5, 5. Yes. This triangle is also congruent. Let's start from this. It's all different, right? There is no 4, 4.5 and 5. So this is not congruent at all. Show me, tell me about this. So it is, let's suppose, 4, 5, and 4.5. Will this be congruent? It has three sides which are equal to 4, 4.5, and 5. So question is, is it, uh, let's find it. Is triangle XYZ congruent to triangle ABC? The answer will be no. Why? Because if you start with, let's suppose, 4, you are moving in anti-clockwise direction, it should be 4.5 here. There is 5 here. So it is not congruent. I hope you are understanding the point. See, we have taken this series 4, 4.5, 5. I am searching for this series in the anti-clockwise direction everywhere. And I could see that, I could get this series in these three triangles in this and one way. Neither I am getting it here. Let's, if you are not comfortable with this series, let's take this series. Let's take from here. Okay. So from here, the first is 4.5, then 5, and then 4. Correct? 4.5, 5, and 4. Let's try to find this series. So let's start with 4.5 in the anti clockwise direction. 4.5, 5, and 4. 4.5, 5, and 4. It is congruent. Let's start here. 4.5, 5, and 4. Correct? In the anti clockwise direction. 4.5, 5, and 4, that is congruent. Let's see here. 4.5, 5, 4. This is also congruent. Okay. If you are not happy with the clockwise direction, let's try the same thing in the anti clockwise direction. Let's try the same thing in the anti clockwise direction. Sorry, in the clockwise direction. We have tried till now with anti clockwise direction. Okay. So let's start uh, with this 5, 4.5, and 4. So the new series should be 5. The clockwise direction. So let's see here. Let's take the 5 1, 5. Now we are going clockwise direction 4.5 and 4. Yes, it has the same sequence. It is congruent. Let's start from here 5 in the clockwise direction 4.5 and 4. Yes, it has the sequence. It is congruent. Let's take this equation. We start in the clockwise direction by taking 5 as the starting point 5, 4.5, 4. 5, 4.5, 4, 5, 4. Correct. So that means they are congruent. So if you take this one, 5, the next is 4. Because we are now going clockwise direction. This is not congruent. So you can try any approach. You can try clockwise, anti-clockwise. You can start from any point. But you will reach the same destination. So for, for the convenience perspective, what I will do is in all the examples, I will generally take anti-clockwise direction. Because I like the direction. If you want, you can take the clockwise direction as well. And then typically I will take this side as the starting point. 
And actually, if you see, if you rotate this, if you rotate these triangles, but it's difficult to visualize. So let's take this. If you rotate this, if you rotate this triangle by one degree, so what you get is P will come here, right? And then we'll get Q here, and then we'll get R here. Let's try this. Okay? So PQ is what? PQ is 4.5. PR is what? 4. And RQ is what 5. And you see now, both are same. 4.5, 4.5, 4, 4, 5, and 5. That is also one way of way of visualizing it, but rotating it and redrawing it is a little complicated. If you want, you can go by the depth, which also where you can rotate this and make sure that they are looking same. Or easier way is pick one side, go in one direction, and just come. So let's understand the criteria for congruency of triangles. Not till now we have told that two triangles are congruent if all the corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal. That means we have to satisfy six conditions. Correct? Three sides. Three sides. And three angles. So now we know that we have some angle property. Okay. So question for example, sum of the angle of a triangle we talk about right angle, this square plus this square plus this square. So it can be reduced this condition. This is required, but can we make sure that these conditions are already implicit? For example, I'll tell you. If two angles are equal, three third angle has to be equal. Because if this angle, if this, these, let's talk about these two triangles. Okay. So if these two angles are equal, let's suppose, and these two triangles are equal, these angles will have to be equal, third angle. Why? Because this third angle is nothing but 180 minus this plus this. This is nothing but 180 minus this plus this. If these are equal, these are equal. This has to be equal. Right? So you can manage only with two angles equal also. Just one example. By using the properties of triangle. So let's see how can we uh, find better rules to define if the, if the two triangles are congruent. Because every time comparing two six sides and six angles is a little difficult task. So we'll see the smart ways of proving if the two triangles are congruent by using some of the properties of the triangle. For example, see in this case, if these two triangles are equal, these two angles are equal, third angles, corresponding angles has to be equal. Okay. Why? Because of the angles and property. And using these properties, we can just see smartly if we can handle things in a better way. We can write down the criteria for congruency of triangles. Let's draw triangles with one parameter common. So let's draw two triangles with one side common. Let's suppose one parameter common. Okay. So let's suppose this is 10 centimeters, this is 10 centimeters. And let's draw some triangles. So if we draw some triangle here, we draw some triangle here. Do you think they are congruent? Answer is no. Right? So, so with one side common, it is difficult to draw congruent triangles. Or let's take some angle common. So let's say this is 30 degree. And this is also 30 degree. Okay? Can we draw two congruent triangles with this? If you see here, one triangle will be something like this and one will be like this. They are congruent? No. So with this, we can say that just by one parameter common, it is difficult to draw a two, I mean draw a pair of congruent triangles. Let's try with two pairs, two parameter common. And two parameter common say sides or angles. Right? So let's try with two side common. Let's suppose this is five centimeter and this is ten centimeter. One more triangle, this is five centimeter and this is so you see these two triangles are not congruent. Yeah, not congruent. Okay. Let's try with the angle. Only two angles common. So let's suppose this is 30 degree. And let's suppose this is 60 degree. Two angle common. And this time I'll take a bigger size. This is 30 and this is 60. You see this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. 
now if you see the triangle they are drawn they are not congruent either okay so we are seeing that with two parameter also it's difficult to find a congruent triangle so why we are doing is so till now we have seen three sides three common six parameter has to be same for a triangle to be similar but we are just increasing our parameter count one by one to see what at what least possible values we can have two triangles as a congruent Let's try to see if we can prove the two triangles are congruent with three parameters. Okay, so now we have three parameters and we have side angle as the input. So by permutation combination, we will see that one possibility is we can try with three angles same. Other is first angle and two sides. Sorry, first angle then side and angle. And then first two angle then side. And first angle and then the two sides and the second options are try with sides sides first all sides or two side first two side and then angle and then this is first side then angle then side and then first side and angle and angle so as per permutation we have tried that this is 2 into 2 into 2 8 because each of these can have two parameters right so we have three parameters and each of these three parameters can have two values either I'm testing for angle or side right so based on that we'll have these conditions and you see SAA or AAS they are seen so again delete one and then also SSA and ASS they are also seen so again delete this also so that's it so I'm left with these conditions okay so let's try one by one all three angles are same. Let's try this AAA. And I'm trying these on paper. We're actually trying to draw two triangles with three angles common. So you can draw two angles and two, actually you can draw a little triangle to be on the safe side and make things easy. So you'll see that these two equal little triangle you can draw where all the corresponding angles are equal. This angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle by AAA and you will see that they are not congruent. So AA congruency is not proved. The next is ASA. Angle then side and then angle. That means this side, this angle and this angle. So I am talking about this angle, this angle and this side. I will draw another triangle and let's take this as 30 degree and this is 60 degree just to try and this will be we don't know and let's take this as 10 centimeter so again you draw a 10 centimeter line this has 30 degree and this has 60 degree. okay that means you'll see that angle side angle angle side angle corresponding are equal and then you will see that these two triangles are actually congruent you can actually overlap you can try cutting this triangle cutting this triangle and you'll see that it'll overlap so ASA, it overlaps. Okay. Next is AAS. AAS, two angles and one side. Okay. That means one angle is this, 30 degree. Another angle is also, let's suppose, 40 degree. And this side. And this about resistance anyway. Okay. These three parameters has to be same. So let's draw 130 degree. Now this length need not be same, so I'll draw a longer length. And this angle is 40 degree. And this is 10 centimeter fixed. And then you will see that these two triangles are not congruent. Okay. But actually, if it is not possible, if you increase the length. If you increase this length, you'll see that these triangles will not meet. It will meet somewhere here. But you have to decrease it, right? Because this length is fixed. So you have to decrease this length. And then eventually you'll be able to draw only this triangle. Okay? And then you'll see they are trying, they are actually congruent. This is A A S. So you'll see that AAS or SAA, both this property hold true for congruency. You can try this actually. Even if you want to increase this length and try, but this length is fixed. So you have to, you can't make a triangle because this angle is also fixed. So you have to reduce this length to make sure these triangles are congruent. So you can try this. Okay. And then next is A 
S S. So let's try with A S S. So A S S means angle and then two sides. That means let's suppose this angle is thirty degree. And this is five centimeter and this is let's suppose four centimeter. I can draw another. This is thirty degree and this I can make as again four centimeter is a different angle. Or let's take this four centimeter like this. Okay. So you can draw actually two triangles with angle side side, angle side side, but you will see that they are not congruent. So angle side side, it is not congruent. Then is side side side. So let's take this example of side side. So if we do a draw two triangles of same sides, similar side. This is let's suppose three. This is four, and this is five. This is three. This is four, and this is five. And you see that they are. Congruent, and this is something which we just saw in the last example. So they are congruent. So SSS is also congruent. So what is remaining is what remaining is SAS. Let's try this side angle side. Okay, so they are two sides. They are same, and there is angle that is same. Let's suppose this is thirty degree. This is four, and this is three, and this is four. Let's draw another three and four. This is thirty degree. Now since this lengths are fixed, you draw a triangle here. Lengths are fixed, you draw a triangle here. So you see that only one possibility of drawing two triangles, and they are they will actually be congruent. You can actually try this on paper. So SAS also holds true. So thus, with this exercise, we concluded that with three parameters also we can actually conclude the triangle is parameter or not uh, is congruent or not. Why? Because with three sides, with with the information that three sides are uh, corresponding, three sides are equal, three or corresponding three sides and three angles are equal. We have seen that there are six scenarios only. They were actually eight, but two scenarios were common. There are six scenarios, and for each of these six scenarios, using uh, by actually drawing it in the paper, we could so, uh, prove that in some scenarios the triangles are always congruent, and in some triangles the triangles are not congruent. So this was by activity. So let's try to prove this using theorems. Okay, whether it is always that if three sides are equal, then the triangle has to be congruent, or The triangle we drew by mistake or by chance it was congruent, but generally it is not congruent. Or there are some corner cases where they are not congruent. So we'll try to understand these scenario. But just understand that if we are talking about three parameters, corresponding parameters to be same, then I say parameter line, lines, angles, or length. Then there are these six scenarios, and these six scenarios we'll see that which of these are true, right? Or which of these are sufficient to prove that the triangles are congruent. We have seen that at least one, two, three, four, four scenarios are sufficient to prove the triangles are congruent by activity. Let's try to prove this using theorem. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials, and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.